Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody on Facebook yesterday wanted to know if their laser would cut half inch MDF. And I think they have a 75 watt, and it surely would. It would take a couple of passes, but it would char the edges so bad that it would be unsightly. Uh, my 60 watt laser will cut quarter inch MDF like butter. Now it does leave the black edge, but it can be primed and painted. So my suggestion if they want to do a uh, half inch is take quarter inch MDF and make them some quarter inch circles and do a test on a piece of scrap. Turn those into a, I was playing with different colors earlier. And then raster that like it, you know, 50 speed, 100 power twice and get it pretty deep. But do both sides. So we're gonna take this and group it together, control G, and then we're gonna mirror it. Well, I didn't control D it. And then mirror it, and you're gonna have two pieces that are equal. And if you will raster, and my suggestion would be not to, uh, you know, uh, do both pieces at one time, because uh, the laser would have to go back and forth quite a bit between these dots. So if you would just uh, select and just do these three dots at a time. And then, of course, with the test piece, uh, raster that out and put a quarter inch dowel in there. When you sandwich them together, and then you would put glue everywhere and either use some sort of small clamps on the outside or I would just use weights, you know, something heavy like uh, barbell weights or weights of any kind to put some pressure on it, let it dry for a couple hours. And what this is gonna do, is gonna stop it from moving. And so each piece will be identical. Now, I normally, what I do would be to take these and grab this and put no fill. And I would actually cut through both pieces and then use that quarter inch down and like I said, test it uh, to make sure it's a really tight fit. Uh, sometimes mine are so tight I actually have to take a hammer. But, you know, do that, control D and mirror it and then do both pieces. And then that will sandwich together. Now the only problem is uh, the dowels are gonna show just a little bit. You know, it can work out if you sand them real smooth, and especially they mentioned that they're gonna prime them and paint them, uh, so it should work. The other option, instead of doing all that, that I'm just thinking of, I'm gonna ungroup these for a second, I'm gonna take away my dot would just be to take this shape that you want in quarter inch and go up to effect in contour, contour to the inside a half of an inch, and then glue those two pieces together. What that's gonna do, it's gonna give the parents, it's gonna stand off the wall of a half an inch. Uh, the two pieces sandwiched together don't have to match up perfectly. And you know when you look at it, if we look at it, uh, let's break the contour apart and just take that piece away. So this is what it, your wood is gonna look like, but the other piece is gonna be behind it. And it's gonna give it some strength so it won't warp, but glue it together quite well. And uh, it'll, it'll look just as good. Uh, it'll appear to you know stand off the wall a little thicker. Anyway, those are just my suggestions for instead of cutting half inch. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.